After 10 weeks of training, I'm really close to doing my first pull-up. I need to find that last piece of the puzzle. Let's start solving it. My name is Hannes and welcome to Train Nerds. something feels different. Well, some stuff has been going on since the last time I talked to you guys. So before we start looking at my training progress and discuss this week's topic, let's do a big recap of the last couple of weeks. I had to focus on work things, mainly helping out my buddy Martin with an awesome project. Only because there wasn't any videos here on Trainerds, I did my workouts, don't worry. But let's start with the cool project that Martin has been working on. So he has partnered up with the Swedish company Klevgrend to make a brilliant plugin for your audio software. It's beautiful samplings of Martin's signature music box. It even comes as an iPad iPhone app. Martin being Martin, he wanted to make something special with this drop. So he made a wonderful song and we made a fun little music video slash demo slash commercial for it. I could tell that this was really meaningful to Martin. Not only releasing this awesome product, but also treating everyone to a new song. Funny anecdote, as always when you're under a deadline, something unforeseen has to happen. And on the day we were gonna post the video, we were still working on it. Martin was mixing the song and I was editing the video. Of course that day it was a scheduled power outage in Martin's studio. So I made room in my office, we edited and mixed next to each other. Martin was mixing and adding arrangements until 30 minutes before we released the video. It was a hectic but wonderful time. The song and video came out great. Check it out if you haven't already. I'll leave a link in the description. During a break, Martin took me along for some disc golf. I hadn't tried it, but Martin was an avid player back in the day. Competing and everything. He even has a name of a song after his disc golf club. So who better to show you the basics than this guy? This disc is going to live up to its name, okay? Oh, wow. Holy moly. Almost. Pretty damn close, bro. High with your hand in backstroke. Along, keep it higher. And aim down towards the ground. Flat, yes. Hard. Whoa! That's a super good release. You're a natural. Let's see if you can make a par on this hole. If you can make a par on this hole, I'm super impressed. I'm going pro now. Oh! Pointing oh. with the whole hand. Yes. Yes! <laughs> Aye. Ooh. Oh. What? <laughs> kind of like your pull up last week. <laughs> That's gonna be the pull up next time. Cool! Awesome! Fun. Fun. Awesome! Yes! It was super fun. It's a nice and easy form of cardio. You're outside getting fresh air, walking around and getting free fun training. Awesome! Well, let's see what's been going on in the gym. The pull up training continues, but I have reduced the volume of it and instead added more rounded training, reintroducing heavier training for the rest of the body, getting myself comfortable with heavier weights in all the lifts again. Four. Oh, okay. 
Yes. <sighs> he went deep. Nice one. It felt awesome doing a 190 kilo squat. And then I also managed a 140 kilo bench press. Great to feel that I haven't gotten worse in the different lifts. Another thing I have started to add is more body weight exercises. They have a feeling like a normal person feel to them. And I can't remember the last time I did push-ups. I've been a little scared of them for a while, thinking I didn't really have it in me. But hey, it went terrific. And I mean, my forehead touched the ground, so there's no problems with depth. My training buddy Theresia just rocked us with oh, her brilliance snap. once again. She keeps adding weights to her deadlift and it's just in, so damn in. inspiring. She was gonna try three reps on oh. 130 kilos. They basically flew up so she did four and that is just incredible. <laughs> and here you have my pull up attempt this week. It's similar to the previous tries, not quite getting the chin over the bar, but something I noticed on this one was the decrease of swinging in my lower body. That's a good sign. It's time to take a look and analyze my pull-up technique. Many of you wonderful people out there have reached out with tips and tricks. You guys could spot my weaknesses. A lot of different variants and techniques were thrown around, but it all came down to the one and same exercise, the negative pull-up. Now, what is a negative pull-up? It's just doing the eccentric part of the pull-up, which means the way down. So either you jump up or you use a box and then lower yourself down. I've tried them earlier during the 10 weeks and I never managed to do one. Time to try again. And as you can see, this is clearly a weak point. It's a funny thing. When I train on my pull-ups, I have no problems lowering myself down slowly. But when I try to start in the top position, I just can't hold on. It's like a big jolt or jank in my shoulders and arms. It's too much weight to try to hold on. Some of you shared some nice variants using different tools and equipment. I tried a couple of them, but still no success. But Joel on Discord sent an interesting idea my way, using one foot to regulate the amount of help. So I took that idea and tried this out. And right now, this seems like a winner. It's close enough to the movement, and most important of it all, it didn't hurt. Because that was something that really got me down this week. After trying all those different techniques, I could really feel pain in my arms and in my elbow joints almost like an inflamed joint it was not a good feeling that was a cue that i needed to slow down a bit and lower the volume and stress that my arms have been under but this is a crucial part of training finding your weak points and work on them when i tried negative pull-ups i could really feel it in my upper back especially my trapezius muscles weren't strong enough and this whole approach is something I'm doing across the board in my training. I'm working on weak points. Something that's become clear lately is that I need to work more on the front side of my legs, my quads. Due to my squat technique, it's more backside that's engaged, so I don't get optimal stimulation on my front side. So that's why I have added exercises like front squat and hack squats to target the front more. Also, I need to strengthen my core. I can feel in, for example, my squat. The one of the first things that fails when it gets heavy is my core. I kinda cave in, so I have been sprinkling in some more core-centric exercises. Uh, ooh. Oh. Personal best for forever. A couple years ago I did like 50 seconds. It was one minute and four seconds. And as sometimes life feels this dark. But you know what? You can just look the other way and look. I'm trying to prank to hang myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, strong. Come on. Whoa. Eight. Oh, Two more. <laughs> 
my God, what's that? Uh, that's awesome. Hey! Yes! <laughs> I haven't done crunches since I was like 10 years old. That's so cool. I know, I am quite cool. Yes. How the fuck can this be harder than squatting 200 kilos, right? So Laying down and back up again. <laughs> Fucking stretch. After some fumbling in the dark after my 10 week attempt at the pull up, it feels great finding these keys and hopefully I can unlock my full potential soon. It got me motivated as hell just finding out my weaknesses. And if you can take something negative and turn it into something positive, you're gonna win. Having a weakness means that you have something concrete to work on. And that is just great. You don't need to think, just execute. And something that is truly not negative is my love for you guys. And you know what to do. Flex those muscles and hit like on this video. Tell a friend that needs some motivation about trainers. And if you really, really like what I'm doing here on this channel, you can check out my Patreon and support that way. Well, let's keep going everybody. Let's embrace our weaknesses. And remember this, you, you are awesome. Woohoo!